In this video I want to use some uh, text functions in order to display some specific data that's in the middle of a text string. So I'm going to go ahead and set up some mock data that we can work with. In this particular sample data I've got a serial number for each product. The number after the slash, the 15, the 11, the 1, the 20, and the 15, represent the supplier or the vendor. In this column off to the side, I would like to display that vendor's number. To do this, I'm going to use a couple of text functions to find just the number that's in between the slash and the hyphen. And there's a few tricks to this, and there's several ways to do it, too. I'm going to start off off to the side just by taking some notes for myself. What I want to do is I would like to find the slash and find the hyphen. Initially in my supplier field I'm going to use the mid function because the number I want to display starts in the middle of my text string I'll use the mid function. So the text string in question is the cell that contains the complete serial number. Where I want to start is at the slash or technically a space after the slash. So for my starting position I'm going to find the slash within the cell that contains my serial number. And I'm back into the mid function here. So the find function is simply the second parameter of my mid function. How many characters do I want to display? Well, that's unknown, really. Sometimes it's a two-digit number. Sometimes it's a one-digit number. For now, as a placeholder, I'll go ahead and put a 2 in there, and I'll finish that. So this is what I have initially. Now, we can already see some initial problems. Well, I'm not getting my two-digit number. I'm getting the slash and then the first number after the slash. So if I modify this, it's really not the slash that I want to be as the starting point. It's one space or one character after the slash. So since my find function represents the location of the slash, if I go plus 1 after my find function, I'll get the space or the character after the slash. And that solves the problem for the two-digit vendor numbers. But clearly, if I have a one-digit vendor number, like in this one, I don't want that hyphen to show up. So now I need to tell Excel to not just stop or not just get me two characters after the slash, I want to make sure that you only get the number of characters between the slash and the hyphen. Because we could have that come up. In fact, I'll go ahead and modify this, this one down here. Instead of a 20, I'll go ahead and make that a 2. And instead of a 15, I'll make that a 5. So we can see that this problem is going to occur for any single digit vendor number. So now, off to the side here, I'm going to find the location of the slash and find the location of the hyphen. Okay. So I can see, and I'm looking at this top one here for the widget, it's a two-digit number. I can see that the slash is at position 5, and the hyphen is at position 8. Now if I subtract those, I'm going to get a difference of 3. But clearly there's only two characters in between that. And off to the side here I can get the difference. Now since there aren't three in between, I really want just the two in between, because it's taking the eight position and the fifth position. But I really want the two numbers between. So let me go and autofill these so that we can see that the problem is at least consistent. So my two digit numbers are telling me there's three in between, and my one digit numbers are telling me there's two in between. So I can modify my difference calculation with a minus one. Now the difference is correct, and this is the number of characters I want to display after I start displaying characters from the midpoint. 
So instead of a 2, I really want the difference. Now that I've done that, I can autofill down and I get my two digit number and my single digit number as necessary. Now I've created this successful function, but I'm relying on functions in different cells to get it working. Now I want to kind of mix them all together. Here's what I have at the moment. I'm displaying characters starting in the middle of cell B2. I'm starting one character after the slash and I'm displaying the difference in characters minus one of the hyphen and the slash. I'm going to start to modify this G2 reference. Well, currently for G2, I have F2 minus E2. Really, I can look at my F2 function, which is simply a find function, copy that, and modify it over here. Instead of F2, I'll put in my find function. For E2, I'll take the function I have here. Notice I'm not getting the equal sign. And instead of E2, I'll paste that. So now, my difference is finding the hyphen minus finding the slash and then subtracting 1. And that gives me the ideal number. Now that I have this function correct, I can copy it minus the equals and modify my supplier instead of G2 paste that function. I'm still going to get the correct supplier number or vendor number but now I can successfully delete these columns and I still have accurate information over here.